So we now know where the oil is in the world, and we are going to be going for some of that today. But welcome back, everyone, to Civilization VI. This is the Ides of March monthly event that Civilization VI is doing. We have a new policy, a uh, new thing. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and add that proposal. We will add that. Let's choose the production here. Um, iridium, let's go ahead and give them, what do they need? They are good on everything there. Let's give them a archaeologist. We can claim a great person. We got another great writer. And that great writer, do they have anywhere to go? I don't think I have any great work slots for writing left around. Oh, I do in Corinth. I'll have them move up to Corinth next turn. So we got some Renaissance walls coming up there. We got a university being completed there soon. Um, he wants my oil. Um, no. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't get my oil. Let's see where we stand right now. Science, nobody's doing anything on. Culture, it looks like. I don't know what team two is. Ooh, major drought. Okay. That is so weird. That is so weird. It's like, it's like glitched or something. I guess that's what happens. Okay, um, the city here, let's have them. They do, they need some, they need a little extra. I'm gonna have them do the stupa there. All right. Villains. Oh, we got Edgar Allan Poe. Nice. Dissemble no more. I admit the deed. Tear up the planks. Here. Here. It is the beating of his hideous heart. All right. Don't think we have. Yeah, we have nowhere else to put the writer now. All right. That was down here, which kind of sucks. Looks like they're going to have rebellion there in 10 turns. This city has rebelled. And it'll rebel again in 11 turns. I could wait for that to rebel. This one is rebelling right now. I sort of need a... What can I buy with faith or coin? I buy a water mill there. Let's buy the water mill there. Producing a sewer. Need more housing in a couple of our cities, but that's okay. Go to the next turn. I don't have that gypsum in my territory, which kind of makes me sad. Come on, you guys all like me. You're going to help me out, right? Help me out, guys. I've got some natural disasters going on here. Okay, Cedia. Let's go ahead and get their amphitheater built there. Let's go ahead and erect a... Wow, everything's going to be so expensive here. Nobody has claimed Petri yet. That is very interesting that nobody's claimed Petri yet. Um. Where would I even put Petri if I was to take it? Oh, it's desert tiles out there. Okay. 
There's desert out that direction. Go ahead and get their monument built there. I'm just going to put them to sleep there. I'll call it Volcano became active down there. I think it might be time for us to go to war with somebody. I don't know if I can go to war with anybody, though. The Gauls are our friends. I think I have no Cassus Bellies against them, so... I'm not an ally with him. Yeah, I don't think I can declare, declare surprise wars on anybody. I have this massive military, nothing to do with it. I could go ahead and start getting some more priests out and start converting people. So we move some heresy there. Let's see what we can buy for faith here. I could get the university for free for six. Let's just get, let's just get the university there. I could buy a missionary here. Buy a missionary possible or inquisitor here. Get an apostle and a missionary. And for this city, let's go ahead and purchase the university as well. And then they are doing not so hot. Let's get them a. Uh, let's give them amenities. I think that would give them amenities, wouldn't it? Only two housing, though. Let's build a lighthouse there for sure. You know, let's get our harbor down in this place here. Let's get a let's get a uh, plus two harbor out here for them. All right, this city here. Let's go ahead and get the stock exchange going. Let's get their shrine up. They're doing fine on housing. They just have they just don't have a lot of people right now. Um. get another spy going there, I guess. Somebody completed the Patola Palace. That's fine. Alright, I'm going to have them spread again. This guy can promote him and give him debater. Have them move over there. And have this guy move over here too. All right, this guy here, this city here, I need them to get some stuff going on. They got they got a great place for campus districts here. I'm just going to take those woods out and put a campus district down there. Let's repair their amphitheater there. Alright, next turn. Let's see what happens here. 
We got a couple amphitheaters going up. We got a campus district going down over there. Uh, 100% of city-states yield, uh, this type when sending trade routes to city-states of this type. Okay, uh, let's go with, uh, religious city-states, I guess. 100% protection towards buildings of this district. Let's go with holy sites. City centers and religious city Many states, of us okay? take better care of our automobiles than we do of our own bodies. Yet the auto has replaceable parts. All right, so we got food markets unlocked, which is great. Um, infantry and then upgrades, uh, farm improvements to mechanized agriculture, food adjacency bonus for every farm improvement they're adjacent to. Pasture improvements get plus one production, which is really super nice. I don't think anybody's going to help me out, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. All right, Kume, what can you do over here? Um, I need a little more faith for that. A little more faith for that. Let's just get your university up. And let's see, what are you going to do down here? Get your stock exchange going in Rome. Get a factory going there. That city's gonna rebel in six turns. This one's gonna rebel in seven turns. <laughs> if you refuse to fight for your people, I have a massive army, dude. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I don't know what you're talking about. All of Africa is pretty much unexplored at this point. Hermetic order discovered, okay. Clan dispersed, okay. That clan got dispersed. I can get an apostle with faith. I could buy an apostle here. I need to come down here and convert that city. Uh, you need some orders. I need you to move that way. I need you to move that way. Um, okay, you need to form a core with them. There we go. I'll need you to move in there. I can upgrade the infantry there. All right. Four oil was mere curiosity of scholars. Now our infantry wields it as a weapon for the first time in the world. We now have uh, infantry cores. Can I do... Um... I can't remember if I can do the... Uh... Oh, wow, that... That cavalry is still kicking around. Interesting. Plus combat uh, with a Renaissance industrial area within two tiles. I'm just going to link them in. There we go. We go around to the rest of our stuff here. That one I can upgrade as well. Now, I'm not sure. All right, I do have that ironclad here. Which is good. I 
don't think I, yeah, I don't have enough gold to upgrade that guy yet. Yeah, I'm gonna see with these guys if I can actually get them to uh, core up or to army up. Cause I'm not, I can't remember if I got armies unlocked or not. I'm pretty sure I do. It's got the sneaking suspicion I do. system has come to them. That's great. Unit needs orders. Uh, yeah, you can go to sleep. And you can fortify. Then I need to have you... Oh, you're a two promotion. You're a one promotion. Never mind. I'm gonna have you fortify there. Can I buy a... Infantry? No, I need way more faith to buy another infantry. That's okay. I'm gonna turn these guys into a martyr. Buy a missionary. Let's go to our next turn. I do want to get maybe like a settler and start settling down here. Because nobody has settled down there at all, which is kind of wild, but okay. Um, you are just going to fortify there. Let's make sure all of our, uh, yep, all of our trades are still in good state. Okay. Macedonian Empire, uh, stop converting cities. Okay, they got grievances against me. Good. Have some grievances against me, my friend. going to move that Rome infantry back there. So does this does this infantry have anything? Okay, they have three promotions already. Wow, okay. Yeah, I, a lot of my guys have got a lot of promotions due to the fact that they were fighting they were fighting uh bad guys for a while. I'm gonna go down here and start converting this guy's stuff too. This is uh Oh that's her, that's Dido's stuff, okay. She might get a little bit upset about that, but that's too bad. We have a big enough army to hold her back. For right now anyway. That city's gonna turn in four turns. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big, that's a big one. Let's others say what they will, but the real flourishing of modern era culture began with the discovery of mobilization by Rome. Oh, that's the one that- In order to rally people, governments need <laughs> enemies. If they do not have a real enemy, they will invent one in order to mobilize us. Well, now we can make armies and armadas. Uh, we can do territorial expansion wars and Unit maintenance reduced cost by two gold per turn per unit. So that is really, really super nice. We'll get that one out. Let's see, is there anything else I want to put out there? Merchant Confederation wouldn't be a bad one.
Um, food and production, I like that one too. Uh, yeah, we'll trade up for the gold there and take the food and production there. Alright, there we go. I have a governor, um... I can't do Endless Night. Let's go ahead and promote him one more time. Need to choose a new civic, so let's open our civics tree up. Uh, let's go for um, con conservation. That'll get us three envoys. Uh, we did get a little bit of era score there, so we are very close to being out of a dark age. Right now, we are. Are we in a dark age at the moment? Yeah, we're in a dark age right now. So, yeah, that would be nice to be able to get out of the dark age. Okay, Paphos needs a temple, I think. Get them a temple. Go to next turn. We got three turns till the amphitheater. One till the amphitheater's there, and then we can move this rider down to it. Let's go to next turn. All right, we'll come down there and do that for right now. Religion is going good. Uh, we lost suzerain status of Yevren. Really? Who took that from us? Oh, there's nobody who took it. We just lost suzerain status of it. Okay. Nobody took it from us. They just made it so we don't have it any longer. Ephesus. Um... I could purchase an art museum for them. Let's do it. And I'll build them their university there. Now that should, I believe... No, we need an artist for that. Yep, I need art. I need art pieces for that. I'm definitely not doing good on the culture front, but that's okay. I don't think we're going to try for a culture victory this time. Alright, so they rebelled. These guys are rebelling in two turns. These guys have already rebelled. And they'll be rebelling back in ten turns. Um, I'm going to have them transfer down to, uh, down to there. There we go. All right. You are going to spend your last charge there. We need to choose some production over here. That guy needs to be upgraded. Production here. Let's choose... A, let's just get an infantry out here. Build an infantry. We can make that into an infantry army. Foreign city gained independence. Our friendship expired with Alexander. I don't think I want to renew my friendship with Alexander. The member of your team is a friend or ally with this member's team. Okay. 
So who is friendly with Alexander? Oh wow, they're all allied with Alexander. What? Is nobody at war with anybody else? I am so confused right now. I am so confused right now. Okay, I can't declare I can't declare any wars on him. But he doesn't he doesn't like me, so Poor Alexander. I'm not trying to pick on him or nothing. Whoa, where'd those guys come from? Where's that guy? Where's that guy at? I don't know what that guy's doing over there. I must have accidentally sent him that direction. I don't know how, but I must have. Our harbor's almost done there. Oh, we'll get our stock exchange in Rome, which will be very nice. We have a huge hurricane category five over there, okay? We do have a place there now for music, which is great. Uh, let's make it let's do a missionary here we're gonna keep this city the citizens of uh Atreya feel an affinity with us and willingly enter our civilization well, of course they do because we're so nice we're so friendly we'll even build them a granary and we'll purchase them a uh let's see what will we build in their city next in their city next let's build them a Build them an encampment. There. It's gonna take a little while to build, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, I need more housing in a lot of places. I think we are out of a dark age, though. So yes, we are now into a normal age for the next era. Because it's in, we're, we're in the industrial era. The next era is going to be in 22 to 52 turns. So I think I'm going to get a builder going there. And... Um, oh, what do I want to do here? Water park will give me an amenity from entertainment. Industrial zone's probably the way to go, though. Here's production up here. I think I need to get some builders going again. I have a lot of uh, Macedonian pike and shot. Interesting. If you can walk away from a landing, it's a good landing. If you use the airplane the next day, it's an outstanding landing. All right, so we got some air. We got airstrips available to us now, including observation balloons. Biplanes, aerodromes, and hangars. Claim a great scientist. Triggers Eureka moment for one random tech in the modern atomic era. Research labs provide plus four science. Okay, that's excellent. We can choose production down here. Let's go ahead and get this harbor going. It's a plus four harbor. That will help that city a lot. We're going to go ahead and do this. Your knowledge of combustion has advanced considerably.
Who else needs orders? You need orders. Um, Catholicism is now being spread to the to the. Uh, we're, we're just gonna start spreading our religion around because I figure why not. Really, that's very interesting that, that that city there is of what religion? They don't have any religion there, I, from what I can tell. Interesting. Maybe we can get a golden age. I mean, we got 21 to 51 turns and we're at 160. We need 14 more points. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. A tapping? As of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. Alright, so that took care of one of those great writings there. Alright, so turn 248, I think we're going to leave it off here. We've got some good stuff going on. I'm going to probably try to go to war with Alexander and just take all this from him. Which would be kind of cool to do. Oh, shoot. That city took some damage, it looks like. I definitely need something there. It looks like we just got another great person. We got another great... We got a great artist. That's excellent because I have a place to put their artwork. Uh, city is underpowered. That, that city is underpowered. So we definitely need to get their uh, coal power plant going there. This artist, we need to have them transfer up to Ephesus. Uh, this guy here, I'm just going to bring him up this direction, and we're going to see if he can do some stuff. This guy's going to come down here and try to convert cities. And this guy is going to move right up here convert that city all right and that leads us to the end of two turn 249 so we'll be hitting turn uh, 250 when we come back so that'll be awesome until then boys and girls thank you so much for joining me for civilization 6 and the ides of march campaign here on youtube and we'll see you next time